Hey guys, Thunderset here, and we are doing, I think it's an archetype. It's not quite an archetype. I guess it is. It's got some synergy in a name, and it works with itself. But I think it's trying to, like, tack on to other archetypes. But we can't really do that here, so we're gonna just make it one archetype. It's Zephra. 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 And it's a pendulum deck. So we got a bunch of Zephra monsters, but they're from Necros. They're from Ying Zing, and they're from Ritual Beasts, so it's a little complicated. They only work with what they're from and other Zephra monsters. So we're just going pure Zephra. We're using seven. We got a Necros here is a 2k level five. We have a Yang Zing who's a level three, one scale, but he'll special summon and turn another monster into a tuner. Very important play here. We're only running two of him. And then we have our, or uh, I already went over this boy, but uh, he's a 2k beat stick, essentially level 7 scale. So he's the only level 7. Our other level 7 is eccentric. She's not with the archetype, obviously, but she's a fantastic level 7. That gives us tons of options and great in any pendulum deck. So this boy will turn something into a tuner. That's good because then we use her to... Uh, be, she's usually just a scale, honestly. She does have a comeback mechanic with a normal summon, but she's usually just a one scale. It's about these two cards. Then you go for a level 7 Synchro. We have Black Rose. We have Zeta. We have Samurai Destroyer. Or Yang Xing can turn a level 3 into a tuner. We could go with a Brio. Or it can turn a level 5 into a tuner. And we go with a Hot Red Dragon. We also have three XZs of a Nightmare Shark, and we have a Trishula. This is all so we can take advantage of this field spell. That's Oracle of Zephra. What does it do? You use it, you get to add a Zephra monster. That's how we get to our Yang Zing super easy. Then we Ritual. If, or if we use a Zephra monster as fuel for a Ritual Summon, we get a Shuffle monster on the field into the deck. We are capable of this in this deck. Fusion Summon, that would be Trishula, Special Summon one monster from your hand, or Synchro Summon, that's generally what we do the most. Choose one monster from your deck and place it on the top of your deck, it's any monster. XZ's, draw one card, discard one card, only once per turn. So you search any monster, then depending on what you do with that monster, you get a second effect. It's a pretty useful little spell card. It lets you get your Yang Zings and your Scales nice and proper when you need them. We can Ritual Summon. We have our Necros Bryonic. He works so well in this deck because you can just discard him and search these Necro pieces. Or we could use this boy's Necro effect. Tribute this card from your hand or face up on the field. Tribute monsters from your hand or field. Then Ritual Summon one Necros monster from your hand. Equal, or the level has to be right. Equal, can only be once for a turn. Then we have a Hand Trap. Tons going on in this deck, but it's not very good. It is just a very convoluted way to do this stuff, and it is very easy to disrupt. So it's a little rough, but we made it work. It is a viable little archetype, so that's crazy just on its own. So hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing an Alexis. We're going first. No extra deck for a girl over there. 22 cards. We got plenty of Sphere Boys. We're going to start by setting our Swordsman. He's cool to just have in the extra deck. Makes things really easy for us. We get an Oracle. Very useful. Search our Yang Zing. Flip him up. We'll poke him because he's probably using Master of Rituals. We'll let him get his combo started. Because he's probably not suspecting our hand traps. Now he's going to go Master of Rites. He's Neftis Rituals. What the heck? So uh, I've done Neftis Rituals, they are super fun. I don't know how good they are, but they are super fun. Now he tributes two Temperance. Keep in mind, this guy just tributed two Temperance. So two Hand Traps. Discards the Neftis, destroys our boy, hits us for 3k. That's gonna be a Destiny draw, so we're gonna do just fine. We're gonna Destiny draw, we get our one scale player, play our seven scale with Eccentric, do our Pendulum Summons of the Yang Zing, and the Necros. The Yang Zing's gonna turn the Necro into a tuner. That's gonna be seven Nec or a Synchro. Yang Zing, when he's used, he hops back to the deck. The Necro heads to the extra deck. But when you do a Synchro with your Oracle of Zeta, you get to choose what monster goes to the top of your deck. 
We're going eccentric. Why did I put an eccentric on the top of my deck and not a Yang Zing? Because we're going to banish that boy. Banish the Neptus. He's trying to attack me. We only have 1,000 life points left, but we have a Sphere Kribo. So now, we can get to Lethal. We knew, we saw what trap he got. His trap was garbage. Save us back. We're going to Pendulum Summon this boy. That, that does nothing. Now we're going to Normal Summon Eccentric. Destroy that boy. He swings, and we have a perfect Lethal for 2,500. Or we would... But he has a Kiteroid, so the duel's gonna continue, his Neftis is gonna come right back. That eccentric play was for nothing. So it's gonna be a rough duel, but in the standby phase, we're gonna keep banishing that boy with Zeta. So Zeta is taken. We're gonna, every standby phase, banish, banish, banish. Here we're gonna Pendulum Summon once again. That's our Yang Zing. This time, we're gonna be able to do another proper Synchro. That's gonna let us choose what monster goes on the top of our deck. We're going Yang Zing again. Here's Samurai Destroyer. Obviously, he had a second instance of Kiteroid. Couldn't get past it just yet. Has to end his turn again. We get our Zing Zing like we wanted. We're gonna get rid of Zeta once again. So we're gonna be able to get all three of our level seven. These are all the level seven synchros we got, guys. We can loop it so well. We're gonna get every one of them. It's a Black Rose Dragon. Good thing her effect is not mandatory. So now we can just swing. He stops us with that. Stops us with two Karibos. Didn't really need to stop the Black Rose, but he did. Here we get another Flame Necro, but we already have all three Synchros out. We banish that boy once again. This time he lets the Rose Dragon go through. Third Karibo. So he had two Temperance. Three Karibos and a Kiteroid, so you know he has more. Sets a monster this time. Zeta's back. Zeta's gone. Now we just give Samurai Destroyer to destroy this face down. He would have negated any kind of flip effect or anything. And then we finish him off with a living Black Rose Dragon. Alexis can't take it. Great, great socket. Alright, here we are facing a Yuto. We're going second. He's most likely gonna be playing Phantom. Knights, I'm not sure. These are probably pretty quick duels. I got very few, like, really good duels to show with this deck, but we did get some. Here we're gonna start with an eccentric. We're gonna hit some of that back row. A little too much back row for us. We had a Luminize. I don't know why I've been seeing that card so often right now. We got a Ritual Beast. She's a Zephram Pilica. Pretty weird. Then we're gonna, uh, we pendulum, I couldn't think of the word pendulum. We pendulum summon our Saber Necro and our Yang Zing. Yang Zing turns to level four into a tuner. That lets us choose what monster we want on the top. We get the Yang Zing once again. Then we get our Zeta, he hits us with a wall of D. We're down to 1700. Not a huge deal though, cause Zeta can just hop out and hop back in whenever he special summons a monster. And we got to, put this on the top of our deck with the field spell because we did a synchro. It's very important to keep this loop because our swordsman stays in the extra deck. Yang Zing, when he's done with a synchro, he goes back to the deck. So we can constantly recycle him. That's why we only run two. Very useful. We're going to go with a Necro's next turn because we obviously can't make another synchro unless we use our Zeta. But we didn't need it. As we finish the duel, great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going second. Only three in the extra deck for our boy. That's pretty interesting. Passes his turn. Where you're going to be able to use Oracle of Zephra. It's going to give us a search of our Yang Zing. And we already have a Brio who gives us a search of really whatever we want. We need our Necro Swordsman though. So we're going to go with Eccentric. Set our other level 1 scale. That's going to be a special summon of our two Wombo Combos. This is how we keep recycling. Ying Zing hops on the Swordsman. That gives us a Zeta after it turns him into a Tuner. Then we get to throw the Yang Zing right back on the top of our deck. So next turn we're going to be able to continue the combos. Now he's got a Golden Castle Stromberg to bring out a couple monsters. He's not putting them in attack so they can't be banished by Zeta. 
So he's gonna go with an Xyz into Excalibur. He can definitely be banished by Zeta. Goes up to 4k. We're gonna banish him in the battle phase. No big deal at all. We get our Yang Zing like we set our deck to do. Then we're gonna Pendulum Summon once again. Yang Zing's gonna turn him into a tuner. And then we get another level 7 Xyz. That's gonna be Destroyer this time. We get to choose what we put on top of our deck. We put our 2k Necro so we can just bring him out next turn. Swing over him because we weren't going to be able to do more uh, more synchros unless Zeta moved the boy. So uh, great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Kite Kenjo. We're going second. Let's see what our boys got for us. We got our Oracle. So it just really depends what we're going to draw. He sets three back row and a monster. We get our Yang Zing, so all we got to search is a level one scale, but he's going to cause him Cyclone us. That does stop us a little. So we can just normal summon our Yang Zing, get that Cypher Raptor out of there. Now we got a an Eccentric, I should say. Then we use our Swordsman. That's going to just be a Pendulum Summon of our Flame Beast, so 2k. Then we use our Eccentric to hit another back row. Pretend we hit up competent back row and we still just finish him anyway. Great, great stuff there. Alright, here we are facing another Yami Yugi. We're going first. He's using full KC cups, leaving that there. We have a pretty good hand. This is pretty much all we need to make level 7 XCs or uh, synchros. I usually set our Saber Boy here because he'll just hop to the extra deck. And he can just stay there. We don't really need him out there. So this boy's got an interesting play here. He somehow had a genuine Curse of Dragon in his deck. Pretty crazy. Doesn't get his Synchro or uh, his Fusion on. We're going with Eccentric. We're going with our Tamer. Then we can Xyz three monsters. We get the Winda out too. Or I guess she's not a Winda. It's a Pelica. But uh, still our Yang Zing's going to turn one into a Tuner. We turn the three. We get the destroyer, that way we can keep the Yang Z. We destroy the Magical Knight, and we can't really swing over him from there. But uh, he would have an uphill battle to go through anyway, and just scoops for us. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Rex Raptor of all things. We're going second. He's using Dark Magician Girl Sleeve. And Matt, we got two of our Yang Zing. We got our Brio. He searches whatever Necro we need, a 1 or 7 scale. Very useful card. Very tempted to run more of him, but I think we're fine. As we got just our Eccentric, we searched that boy, which means we'll be able to use one of our Yang Zing and our Eccentric as our 7. That way we can still get our Yang Zing and our Necro 3 and 4. Turn the 4 into a Tuner. That's a level 7 Synchro. He doesn't want to see it as he Brick, apparently, with 3 back row and scoops. So, uh, yeah, this deck isn't out there killing it. It's just a bad pendulum deck, which is probably pretty bad in the whole scope of things. I'm just blown away this was a viable archetype. It seemed really weird that they were just trying to mix in these other cards to other archetypes, but I was like, huh, but it did get somewhat viable as a bad synchro pendulum deck. So, <laughs> Pretty interesting, weird little archetype. What else is in Zephra that makes this worthwhile, guys? You gotta let me know. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. And